<laughs> Are we recording? Woo. You tell me. Yeah. I, I saw him reach over and hit the record button. Usually he does it behind my back. You guys are getting observant. I'm on you, bro. <laughs> You're Not with the whiskey bro around the table. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Whiskey Bros around the table What's from this up? very, very, very late night. At, but whoa, no, it's only six o'clock. Yeah, it's yeah it feels <laughs> so late. <laughs> Does yeah, man, it feels like God. it is freaking midnight. I'm like, God, I am an old man. But then I'm realize, no, it's just fucking time change. It's just time mm. change, and it, it's worse as you get older. Oh my God, yeah. it's Agreed. awful. Like, why do we still? do this i don't think it's going to be staying this way for long i mean you said that there was a bill apparently in the u.s senate Uh in 2021 i looked this up and it got overturned it did get yeah when what date because last time i read it was was supposed to happen i don't know 2021 it was supposed to happen in spring Okay, so right now we're on standard time. Yeah, this is the normal. This is the normal. But it's the going back and forth. That's what Fs people up. agonizing. You know, and they say, well, you get an extra hour in the fall, right? No. You get an an extra hour in the morning uh, of daylight. Yeah, you lose an hour in the evening. But, God, it's that two weeks after it happens. Shit. It just Fs with your circadian rhythm. Yeah, it really is um, agonizing and more brutal as you get older. Uh, So Uh, what I was reading, are you looking it up, Savage? mm -hmm. Um, What I was reading is when we go back to daylight savings, that's supposed to be permanent. Okay, so, so I, is this actually going to happen? Because I hope it does. This is the would, U.S. Senate approved the bill. Uh, okay, I was maybe I was wrong. I, I will take that. I will take being wrong. Well, this was March fifteenth, twenty twenty two. Okay, so recent. maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God, I hope so because you know, like this week for me has been about staying up to the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so maybe I go to bed eleven, eleven thirty, maybe twelve on a late night. But getting up an hour before my alarm. Oh, just automatically. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And exactly. then you forget to turn off your alarm, and then you you know you're doing breakfast, getting your day going, and then your alarm's going <laughs> yeah. off. You're like, Fuck you! I'm awake oh, already. Man. I'm and, awake. And I monitor my sleep. I got this like fancy Whoop app uh, yeah. band on, yeah. and and I'm at like five to six hours deficit this week. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my kid's been getting up at six o'clock in the morning. Jeez, yeah. I know. Because that's what their their time. circadian rhythm yeah. is set mm-hmm, to that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and your your bedroom kind of faces the east window. So, well, y'all have your you've got blackout curtains, don't you? Yeah, and the the bed frame is so is up against it that. Yeah, blocks everything coming in. Um, but man, I, I tell you what, uh. <laughs> I've been getting up earlier, and, and it, what's worse about your alarm going off after an hour, you're up. Yeah. Your phone's usually in another room. Oh, yeah, totally. So you're up doing something, you're like, what the hell is it? No, it's, oh, it's my freaking alarm. I gotta walk back. <laughs> I got to walk 40 paces to turn the damn thing off. Or what about if you ac- accidentally hit the snooze button instead of turning it off? Like, you're you're All already distracted, and you're like, shut up, hit the snooze button, and you're up. Then you got to walk back over there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Which alarms are are kind of, they they live in some traumatic area of our brain anyway, because, you know, we wake up to them. Mm-hmm. And and so there's, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I hear my alarm, even though I change it every once in a while, I have some, like, internal, like, <gasps> you know, <laughs> jolt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some emotional response. Is that why we uh, aren't living long, fruitful lives, do you think? Oh, there are so many reasons. I mean, vegetable oil being another one. Uh, oh, yeah, seed oils. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you said that because it took a screenshot of something earlier. Um, we'll get We'll get into those. Um, but I don't know, man, how do you feel about the permanent daylight savings? Would you rather have the extra time in the evening or would you want the extra hour of sunlight in the morning? No, I'll, I'll just evenings, man, I, day, will, I will take consistency period. Okay. Okay. But I would yeah. advocate for evenings because yeah, cause it's six o'clock and it's pitch black outside. That's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it is. And no, I mean, what are you going to do with an extra hour of sunlight in the morning? You're going to go be poor, more productive? No, you're not. Shut up. No, no. not me. <laughs> That's, you know, I did enjoy, okay, so so there have been times I've enjoyed this daylight savings time. Wait, 
Is this daylight saving? Uh, this is standard time. This, th- that I've enjoyed standard time, and that's whenever I used to hog hunt more than I do. Okay. Okay. So it it so so I wouldn't have to hunt as late because the uh, hogs would come an hour earlier. Uh huh. So instead yeah. of one o'clock yeah. in the morning, they come at midnight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know that that was kind of, but that's really it. But the, but back again to like okay. For the people, evidently there was a, a an America divided. Imagine that. It was like 50-50. No. People wanted either more daylight in the evening or more daylight in the morning. What are you going to do with more daylight in the morning? Mm-hmm. Are you going to, you're going to, automatically, you're going to, if you have a family. Yeah. You're going to spend more time doing family activities if you have more daylight in the evening. You're not going to wake up early and be, oh, can't wait to spend time with the family. No, because you still, you still got to go to work. Yeah, you still got to go to work. You they still want to get that. School. You want to get, mm-hmm. yeah, it's. See, I thought it had something to do with harvest or or farming. Well, back in the day, yeah, but tractors nowadays have better lights than it, our vehicles yes, do. Yes, it, it yeah. absolutely revolved around agriculture back in the days. Now we have LED lights that are brighter than the sun. Uh-huh. Yeah. And yeah. use like you know, four watts of power. So I don't want to hear about it anymore. I'm a farmer. I don't... If it's after dark anyway, I don't want to be working. <laughs> yeah. Have so you I, heard the excuses I'm, of why those 50... Or 50 50 people wanted the more daylight in the morning? Have no, they? there's, I don't yeah. think, I think they're just stupid. Yeah. They don't know. They're just like, oh, I, I like uh, standard time because uh, I'm stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that, don't, that don't make sense to me. I sound like John Fetterman <laughs> out of Pennsylvania. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Too okay. Too, yeah. Not. Did, did you go there? Eagles are better than. <laughs> Eagles. Eagles. No. Yeah, let's, no. let's hire that guy. Yeah, let's put that guy in charge. Jeez. Have you seen him, though? Like, he oh, just yeah. looks like trash. Yeah. I, I don't think he's ever, he doesn't look like uh, you would expect an elected official to no, look like. he's always wearing Oh, hoodies. come on. Yeah. Elected official. Next thing official. you know, we're going to be putting Cardi B in as president. Well, I don't, don't, I've, don't yeah, say Yeah, you're that. going there. It might happen. <sighs> I mean, Okay. I mean, would you take no. Cardi B, really? No, I would not. No. Over the current. I mean, we already no. had Donald Trump. We don't need. I would not take Cardi B over <laughs> Biden. <laughs> and we've so lost all of our followers. I know. <laughs> Maybe we gained a couple, though. I don't know. I don't That's... know that we want those. <laughs> I mean, the chick I... can sing. I mean, can no, she? No, she can't. Yes, yeah, she can. can she, she cannot sing. What is wrong yeah. with you? <laughs> what she is putting out is not singing. How can <laughs> you say that? That's what blows my are mind. You, are you trying to antagonize us? Maybe. I hope. Geez. Defend that. The burden of proof is on you. Yeah, because it sounds Defend like you're serious about yeah. Cardi B being I mean, able she's to not. Sing. She's no share. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> you're not helping your cause, man. Elton John. I mean, come on. You're, look what this time change has done to us. I know. I, time I, change I, blues. Oh, episode name. Episode. Okay, uh, I like it. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's not the time change. It's it's the actual change part of time change. It's yeah. it's the two weeks of circadian disruption Mm -hmm. and it's like everybody in my office we you know we're all just like walk in and we're like and it's woke mm -hmm, up before my alarm my patients hate it like i can i can see the ripples i've not i've not met one person that votes to stay where we're at right now yeah right oh i got an extra hour of sleep this weekend which they didn't they actually lost an hour yeah from what i hear nobody nobody that i know anyway but what I like about it is you get off work and you still got plenty of time to do stuff in the daylight. Yeah. 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 Now you Not get anymore. off work and you're like, Oh God, it's dark. Yeah. I know. I mean, I've, I know people that, you know, have woken up so early to go into work. It's dark. They go into their office space. No, oh, that was no exposure to daylight, years. no exposure yeah. to daylight. And then when they come home, it's dark again. Yeah. Like they get absolutely zero natural sunlight. Yeah. They lose their mind. Yeah. I mean, you can't help it. How right. would you not lose your mind? Right. So uh, back to what the screenshot I was talking about. I follow this page. It's some of it. It's a little difficult to swallow, but Carnivalaralis on Instagram. Sounds kind of like your tool tool album. No, it kind of sounds like it should be. (laughs) But anyways, they advocate for like you know uh, beef, natural fats, kind of the stuff that we have. Name like that, I can get it. Uh, But you know this this one is like stop smoking smoking vapes. Stop watching okay. porn. Stop eating seed oils. That's interesting. Stop using AirPods. I mean, the porn thing, the seed oil, that's obvious. <laughs> Stop using AirPods because of the uh, the close range um, electromagnetism magne- that's literally sitting inside right. your skull. Besides the loud volume. Oh, yeah. We've all, our, we, we are generation, we are generation fucked ears. Mm. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My ears are screwed, man. Uh, stop drinking tap water. Stop touching receipts. Oh. 
Okay, what? so that was an easy one, or a difficult one. I had to send that to uh, Elijah's wife because I follow this page because of her sharing it. And uh-huh. I'm like, what is? what are receipts? Wait, and she what? goes, no, they uh, evidently have compounds in them that over time cause uh, infertility and possibly cancer. Mm. Okay. And I, I asked her, I said, so does that have to... That's going out there for me. I know, that's like, uh, all right, but, but it I guess they ha- treat this paper with some sort of chemical that reacts to... You know, when you print your receipt, it's a heat print. Right. It's not ink. So there's some, okay. some uh, who knows. But stop drinking tap water. So start drinking water out of plastic water bottles. Uh, or just, I don't know, go to a pond. That seems to me like it'd be worse. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like when it, like. I, I think we should be done. With, I mean, we want to talk about a world of toxic plastic pollution. Oh, but it's okay. Go buy a $5 bottle of water, but then bitch about your gas prices. Pay more for your plastic bottle right. of water. Throw it away so it ends up in a landfill. And then go advocate for some sort of Greenpeace or environmentalist group, probably still drinking plastic water bottles. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so okay. So maybe on or off that list, what are the no-brainers? Like, you have to tell somebody, because I have to do this no every brainers. day. Stop using seed oils. I think that's a no-brainer. Okay. Stop smoking yeah. vapes. Yes. If yeah. you want to smoke tobacco, put it in a pipe or smoke a cigar. We don't advocate for Puff, those really. A cigar, yeah. But if you have yeah, to, yeah. don't inhale it. Stay away from cigarettes and definitely don't smoke vapes. Don't. How about this? Don't inhale shit into your lungs, period. Oh, yeah, true. Absolutely. Like if you can avoid it, just don't do it. Your lungs are made for oxygen. Yeah. Now, we've all been young and stupid and smoked sure. cigarettes. Hey. And, yeah, I mean, and there yeah. are pictures of us smoking cigars. Right. We don't inhale them. Uh, stop using sunscreens. Okay, that's not obvious. I mean, it's not obvious, but is it, that is it realistic? Right. I mean, your, okay. Your skin is made to, you know, react to the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so their thought is if you use sunscreen, you, vo- you block out vital vitamin D. Yeah, if, if, it's provide, if it's preventing sun from getting into your skin, which is an organ, right. sure, I don't, I don't see why that, there's a false statement of saying you're not getting nutrients. Right, right. But maybe if, like my white ass, I'm going to go outside and work in the yard for two hours, I'm probably putting some sunscreen on. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Because um, I know what will happen. Well, you have a bald ass head, too. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, this one's a, a vital one. Stop working for a shitty boss. Yes. Yeah. Get rid of toxic people, period. How about that? Yeah. Um, okay. Stop taking birth control. Uh, I mean, do you want to have babies? I mean, here's the, I like, here's the deal, though. Like, a normal human has five days in the cycle, which they can technically get pregnant. Right. And if you're able to time those and you have a consciousness of when those five days are, Okay, like, okay abs- so abstain from sexual intercourse, whatever. So a, and, and a, regu- a regularly cycling human female mm-hmm. can maybe time her periods, but how, how many people are regularly cycling? I don't know, man. I'm not a female. I know my... I know. Uh, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to get into this. <laughs> <laughs> Treading on thin ice here. I know, right? And here is the ultimate one. Okay, wait. Oh, here, boy. I'm going to say this. Okay. Hold on. Let's, For let's, some let's, people... Pref- let's... let's uh, preface this with okay your um credentials like you were the biggest birthing doctor in wise county for a yeah, period not, right? not really i would i was never to ob gen level i, I was okay. a family doctor that delivered babies okay i delivered quite a few babies you were uh, up uh, there uh, I, yeah. I don't okay 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 but okay for some people at some times in their lives babies can be toxic people whoa like babies yeah. yeah. Okay. Newborn. Yeah. Yeah. So, Cause so, they, they eat shit and sleep and, and require and, and they your total you attention. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so maybe during, for those people during special times, of their lives for which babies would be toxic to them, uh-huh. they need birth control. Okay. Or find a way to track your cycle and abstain from sex. Yeah. But, but historically people just None don't of that's 100% do that either. well. No. Yeah. You you miss that by one day and you're screwed. <laughs> True. That's that's it. Yeah. Take birth control people. <laughs> or <laughs> yeah. I don't want to pay for your kids. <laughs> I like the I like the meme I, that's going around like my grandma talks about how t- sex obsessed this generation is and then the oh, other picture man. is my grandmother and there's 15 kids in the <laughs> <Yeah>. bed. <laughs> <laughs> the uh yeah, historically that hasn't worked, but but 
I, I get the idea. Like they're trying to make the claim that taking hormones and, or, or blocking hormones. or blocking. Yeah. yeah. Blocking the period response is maladaptive to okay. healthy living. Okay. So that, that, that is the subject. The subject is not, you and your illegitimate fucking kids. The subject is right. stopping a natural healthy cycle. <sighs> I, I still take it. I don't know. Like, okay, you think a hundred years ago, okay, that a normal healthy female, uh-huh. okay, quote unquote normal, whatever that was, would get pregnant at a very early age, yeah. 16, 17, 18, have a kid, breastfeed the kid, sure. stop breastfeeding the kid, Get pregnant again. Yeah. Have a kid. Breastfeed the kid. Yeah. Okay. Get pregnant again. Okay. Boom. Eight million people on the planet. Or eight billion people yeah, on the planet. Yeah. And okay. Ten kids later, she goes through menopause. Sure. And stops. So the bulk of her life wasn't spent having periods. Mm-hmm. Okay. Contrast that with the normal female of today. Okay. Well, that is debatable. We're not but- having. We're not having families with five to eight kids in a. No, we get pregnant at the age of 27. Yeah. We have a kid. We don't breastfeed. And 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 so the number of periods a, a female today will have throughout her life if she doesn't stop those periods mm-hmm. is is quite a bit more than it's significantly higher. Quote unquote normal. Yeah, cuz she she's not spending the whole time being pregnant unless she's suppressing right. it with hormones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, birth control. Uh or hormones. And, and a lot of birth control you still have periods on, but yeah. So it's um not, Exactly correct. Well, here is one that we can all agree on. Okay. Stop being a vegan. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wait, was that on there? That's on, on there. there. Okay, yeah. but they're known carnivores. So I I'm with you on that one. I think we all agree. <laughs> yeah. Vegan suck. Suck. <laughs> yeah. Not getting a lot of uh, affirmation from Savage. So you, uh, so the two obvious on that list for me is uh don't consume seed oils. Yeah. And don't be a vegan. Don't be a vegan. <laughs> right. What, what do you call okay? What do you call olive oil? It's made, it's pressed from the pits of olives, is it not? Is it not? And that's a seed. Yeah, but it's okay, so it's different. Mm-hmm. Uh I don't think it's a seed oil. What we're talking about is vegetable oil, yeah, canola, canola oil, uh peanut oil. Right. Um and a whole uh, host like, of others. Like Crepe seed oil. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm missing another. There's another one I'm missing. Uh, yeah, they can go so, on and on. You know, basically, it's these products that are high in, low in omega 3s, high in polyunsaturated fat, mm-hmm. and uh, have a low uh, smoke point. Okay. So you get carcinogens too, undoubtedly, because nobody's going to be cooking their. Right, uh, they're not going to have a temperature gauge in their pan the entire time, saying, "Oh, I'm getting close to 300. Better turn it down." Yeah, canola. I mean, Would corn like oil, to hear about canola, the olive oil discussion. F sure. This. Yeah, it is considered a vegetable oil, uh-huh. but not a seed oil because it does not uh, derive from the seed of the olive. It doesn't. Was this? That's what this says. You know, I thought it was pressed pits of olives, so it's. It doesn't the olive, say how, it just says it's not. The olive itself then, I guess. Mm. Does it have any opinions mm. on avocado oil? If I if I like if I'm gonna use an oil, I like avocado oil. Yeah. Yeah. I like beef tallow. I mean, yes. Mm. I mean, yes. We're gonna yeah. always advocate for beef tallow or lard. Good old pork lard. Butter. Butter, yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you're gonna fry something, not breaded, of course, because that would not be healthy. Right. But if you're going to fry something in in a pan of oil, what would it be? Avocado be tallow. oil is not a tallow. seed oil either. Okay. A vegetable oil again? Um, it doesn't call it a vegetable oil on this thing. It just says it's from the uh, pressing of the pulp surrounding the pit. Huh. Yeah, I think we're just now realizing how bad that shit is. Yeah. Uh, vegetable oil, canola oil being the the predominant players there. I mean, it's you don't even need to be into it. You can see the... The results. Okay, right. guys. So when you, when you say don't eat, sorry, but this is this yeah. might this might stump some of you on that whole seed oil business. By some, okay. <clears throat> when you're telling people to stop eating it, peanut butter, yeah, is a seed oil. That is true. Is it? Yeah, that's true. Huh. 
So I love me some seed oils. Just to eat beef. Peanut butter and wow. beef. But like and pork. The amount of peanut butter we eat relative to yeah. vegetable the oils, oil. yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Like I, I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every. I mean, eat fries. You eat chips. Moons. I mean, everything has yeah, seed oil in it. Peanut peanut butter is just processed ground up peanuts. Peanuts. Theoretically. Yeah. yeah. It's not. I mean, and there's a wide variety of peanut butters, obviously. Yeah. yeah. With innumerable additives. Oh, and this, and, oh, yeah. and drink real milk too, because this thing goes uh, into the depths of the fad milks like almond milk and oat milk. Those are interesting. They both contain vegetable and seed oils oh. uh, for thickening agents. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. So. Me as a human being only has so much capacity to make so much change at a time. Yeah. Well, here's the deal. You don't have to take our word for it. Look around. We're all fat as fuck. Yeah. Ever like we are on a bad path. And that path has gotten worse since even okay, fast food joints say what you want about them. But they've gotten this path has gotten worse since they've converted from uh tallows and natural natural frying yeah, oils. To- to vegetable canola, oils canola and canola oil. oils for frying. Specifically, yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, uh, will you hand me a whiskey? You uh, know what, damn it, I need one too. Um, <laughs> oh, we went through a few bottles the yeah. other the other As night. Uh, oh. Old Elk Rye. Uh, Some Old Soul. You know what, I want to do the whiskey. The bro. whiskey bros. Okay. Whiskey bro. Dale, from, you got me on from that From Oak one. and Eden. Chartreuse. Made flavor. by our dear friend. Josh Smith. Big Josh. Big Josh. Yeah, go over to Bridgeport and see him. You won't miss him if you walk in that place. Like unless he's not there and then you'll miss him. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) I just he and I just uh sent him a message on Instagram. Okay, Josh and I are like huge fanatics of the pug dog. Yes. The pug dog is like just pure goofball happiness. Right. Mm -hmm. I sent him this. I sent him this uh, Instagram video, and I'm like, "This must be the the gates of heaven." <laughs> oh, <I'm running> out. <laughs> and it's a flood it's just, of pugs. It's a flood of pugs. <laughs> yeah. Like pugs are always happy, goofy, and you've never seen. You've, when, have, when have you seen a sad pug? Right. Never. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh. Pug dogs, man. They uh. You want happiness? You know how much slobber they must get on their floor every day. Oh yeah, but you're gonna be so happy when you're mopping <laughs> it up because you've got a hundred pugs. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about could, that because they probably just come right behind you. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine a hundred pugs in that? You wouldn't be able to have a conversation. Could you be? Uh, <laughs> yeah, when they were <laughs> right uh, after sleep. Jeez. Oh God, man, get them their own house. Okay, so what I do? Okay, if I'm I'm trying to convince somebody to make a healthy change in their life, I basically say don't eat shit. Let's start with that. Yeah. Like if you look at it, yeah. you know it's shit. Okay, maybe you just eat a little bit of it. Yeah, so you say because that's uh, that's hard. It is hard. It's hard to do yeah. that. Oh God, yeah. And, you and know, it's expensive. Like yeah. unless you have the right. room and the space to grow your own food in a garden and you know raise your own uh, meat, you're gonna have to eat some shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're gonna have to eat yep. some shit. It's and it's it. That's another thing. Like this is government subsidized unhealthiness. Because if you're right. if you're in poor communities. You have an even you have even less access to whole real foods. Correct. Yeah, because yeah, they make that stuff taste phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most of the time, most of the time. That's the thing is we were. Ta- I think we talked about this the other day. Like it is purposely engineered to oh, be yeah. a. Re- it targets your your dopamine, uh, yes. your receptors, your reward receptors, and you keep eating it, and your brain's going, "This is great. I love this. Mm-hmm. Keep right. eating more. Keep eating more." You have think about having a a huge steak or a lot of bacon, lots of fat. Oh, you're what's like, your God, gut? this tastes fantastic. Yeah. But your brain hits that cycle of like, holy shit, I'm really full. Yeah, like once you're I'm, done, I don't want any. I don't want to think about this. You're done I'm on multiple done. levels. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your your tummy says you're done. Your mm-hmm. brain says you're done. You you know. Yeah. You can't go from one bite to the next. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. yeah. But eating that same amount of calories and processed crappy food yeah your brain's like oh shit keep it keep yep. it coming baby right Get keep it coming one. just like cheez it's oh, those fuckers mm. oh geez and they'll make you feel so <laughs> shitty i know man i, I know. know they make me feel pretty good when i'm eating them <laughs> i know <laughs> um speaking of eating 
good. We sure did. The oh, last man. 24 yesterday. hours. We sat around all day yesterday smoking one brisket, six, oh, eight racks of ribs, yep. uh, two hams, and a turkey. Whiskey Bros, first time ever. Yeah. Yeah. Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. And damn it. That was. It's it was good. It's, it's good. It turned damn out good. good. Yeah, I was I was surprised. So, right. <clears throat> according to one of the uh, whiskey bros, mm-hmm. we won't name because he's a ghost and yep. never shows up. His <laughs> advice was to take the skin off. Yeah, we need. To I don't out understand what, this. No, I don't either. But uh, he's probably, he's probably that was the it. first thing he said. I because I posted on the and, uh, uh-huh. yeah. whiskey bro post. Yeah. Okay, getting this turkey. Going to figure out how to smoke it. Nobody and, responded to him appropriately. So right. he's, yeah, he's and, probably and got some like, side. Are you are you going to take the skin reason. off? Are you going to take the skin off? No, no, no. nobody responded no. to him. But yeah. uh, I I took a deep dive on how to smoke turkey and and uh, with anything smoking mm-hmm. having to do with smoking meat, I went to amazingribs.com. dot okay. okay, so this website is uh, Meathead's website. Mm-hmm. Okay, Meathead Meathead is some popular dude. He's like the the world expert on American barbecue. Yeah. Okay. I say that because American barbecue is actually only one small <clears throat> portion of barbecue around the world. But if you're looking for a guy that knows American barbecue, it's Meathead. Okay. Uh, and he's associated with this rib uh, website? Yeah. He's the father of the red rib website. Okay. Amazingribs.com. Uh, it's an exhaustive source. I ended up reading probably 15 to 20 pages worth of material on how to smoke a turkey and and if i had to summarize the whole thing okay uh in one sentence Mm -hmm. number one it was like okay watch out for salmonella because you can't really get a clean turkey period yeah okay he convinced me of that uh unless you're going out to kill the turkey yourself or you're buying it from a farmer that's killed it or you yeah you got a wild turkey uh, but number two was everything you've heard about preparing turkey, just throw it out the window. Y- yeah. It's like everything else with barbecuing. Yeah. And, and steak. Simple, stupid. That is. Stop it really making is. making it contrived. Yeah. So so I ended up uh, thawing this bird out, dry sprinkling salt on it to dry brine it mm-hmm. for a day. So, so you so, did uh, 12 hours or 24 hours of dry brine? I, I did 12 because I was lazy. Okay. But but. Optimally, it would have been 24. What kind of – you use a, a canning salt or a kosher salt or – I typically use a kosher salt, period. Okay. You rub it on pretty good? That's – Give it a good rub? No. Honestly, like I, I just let hold it the kind of coat bird up with one hand and yeah. I rotate it around. And I take the other hand, which is my clean hand, and yeah. I, I sprinkle salt all over it. Okay. And that's what, that's all I do. Uh, and and But if you only have table salt, it would be fine. Yeah, salt is salt in my opinion. Salt, right? But I I do prefer a kosher salt because it's a flaky salt, and you can actually it feels like it more evenly distributes. But that's not even important to yeah. the discussion. I didn't put shit inside the bird. Yeah. Well, actually, you did. Well, you didn't put it in there, but you you did forget I left to take it. it out. Yeah, yeah. I kind of <laughs> left some shit in there, some giblets, I guess. Yeah. Oh, was there stuff in there? We yeah. smoked that dude up with them in there. <laughs> did y'all eat yeah. them? No, no. <laughs> Why not? Because they well, were in a bag. They were, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. A plastic <laughs> bag? Uh, I don't know. Oh, boy. <laughs> but we brought the bird out, tossed it on the smoker. Yeah. And then. Oh, so you were, you, it wasn't in the smoker with a bag in it. It was. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. reach was, up your turkey's butthole and make yeah, sure you make pull sure out everything. Yeah. Next time. Clean. <laughs> they'll, they'll hide it in there. But, but then. We took it off at 160 degrees, you know, like yeah. we stuck the meat probe in. And when I was like, well, oh, that's about 160, let's take it off. Mm-hmm. That's all we did. And yeah. it was great. And we threw it in a cooler for how long? I think, I don't remember yeah. when we took it off, but right. I think that does a lot. Yeah, I think probably. so too. Man, it you, just sat in there because it was a Yeti. So when you sh- seal, I mean, it's it sealed. Just like seal. literally toss the bird into a clean cooler and mm-hmm. shut yeah, the and then cooler. it like steamed it for like, it yeah. had to sit in there for at least an hour or more. So you're right. you're retaining that moisture, and that bird's still kind of cooking uh-huh. and reducing down, like tenderizing some at that point. Yeah, do the same thing with the brisket. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Like next time we do the brisket, let's try with your method. Let, but I feel okay. like I've always done just the. I don't really give a shit what temperature it gets. Right. But then it's not as easy to trim or not trim, but slice up. Mm. So right. I think um, getting it to a temp. 
and then maybe uh, wrapped for an hour or so or two uh-huh. hours. That yeah. way you still have sliceable brisket. Yeah. And our slice, but it kind of crumbled because yeah. it is so tender. 203. Yeah, it just falls Brisket's apart, so subjective, though. Everybody, yeah, right. Everybody's got an opinion. Nobody hates brisket entirely in one way or the other, but right. everybody has an opinion mm-hmm. and everybody has, you know, their, their method their right of way to finishing cook it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I've never right. bought, met anybody that's like, oh, no, I hate brisket done this way. It's mm-hmm. always like, oh, I like it this way, but shit, I'll eat it this yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that's an, we're back on that subject of making things contrived when they shouldn't be contrived. Mm. Right. It, it should be simple. Saturday was a great day. 7 a.m., firing up the smoker. Yeah. This is the ritual that more people need to take part in yeah. because firing up the smoker, putting the meat, salting the meat, seasoning the meat, putting it on the smoker, and literally... Yeah. Embracing the ritual of doing squat. That's it. It was wonderful. Sitting on asses. I mean, we worked. Don't say that. The wives are good. Oh, if the wives are listening, yes, we worked very, very hard. <laughs> it was long. I mean, hard damn, day. I can't tell you how hard we worked. My back's hurting from it still. <laughs> no, but the simple ritual is less is more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and and we babysat the smoker. Yeah, we yes, there is that. You need to be there around that smoker to babysit it. But that's part of the ritual, and the ritual right. is also. Some sort of therapeutic because you're sitting there. You have nothing else that needs to bother you. you everything else, you have 12 hours of right. pure bliss. Yeah, because you can't leave, so nothing yeah. else really matters. Exactly. And, yeah. and we played around with a lot of shit just out of, like, while we were sitting there. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, we man, had. we cooked up that, that Akaushi ribeye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, in tallow. Yeah, uh, in in a pan, and then finished it over. Yeah. No pepper this time either. Basic, basically meat, salt, and Beef fat. Yep. And, and then it, right. and smoke. And then we did put it on the smoke for a little About bit. About 10 minutes of smoke. Yeah. yeah so, it's so, that. We, yeah. could, we couldn't wait. <laughs> no, we couldn't. Like, oh, no, so take we, it off now. Yeah. It was about a two inch thick Akushi ribeye. Mm-hmm. We bought it the day before. Okay. We brought it out there in the paper. Mm-hmm. We opened the paper up. We salted the mm-hmm. steak. Mm-hmm. And then we sat around and drank beer for mm-hmm. about an hour. Let that steak come up to, you know, ambient yeah. temperature. Yeah. And, and, and then got some coals. Out of the fire, mm-hmm. right? Put yep. them on top of the smoker. Put the pan on top of the coals. Mm-hmm. Melt some beef tallow in there. Throw that steak on. Let it cook. Yep. It was excellent. Pretty it was excellent. Uh, Akushi beef from Wise Choice Custom Meats. That's the yeah. prime. That is their most prime. Uh, I guess is it yeah, primest? Top, yeah, primest. <laughs> primest offering from Wise Choice Custom Meats <laughs> is Akushi beef. And you then, can't go any higher there. And we met their rep, um, Travis Austin, yeah. I think is his name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or the heart brand, heart brand, heart brand beef. Yep. We got to get that guy on here. Was he a cool guy? Mm-hmm. He's yep. a fan. I didn't yeah. meet him. Yeah. Any any guy that's a representative for beef. For How beef. can wow. they not be cool? Okay. Like Seriously. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we texted him that day, and he was out, like, taking kids bass, fish, bass, bass fishing. Yeah. I nearly said ass fishing. <laughs> but bass fishing. Bass fishing. And, okay, so that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So during our therapeutic 12 hours, mm-hmm. we had a lot of time to um, – Hypothesize and yeah. uh, some questions were brought like up. It. There might have been alcohol involved. There might have been, yes. One question in particular was if we were offered $10 million to support and promote veganism, would we? Yeah, that was a good question. <sighs> See, let me ask it again. It. If we yeah. were offered, offered $10 million to support and promote veganism, would we? Okay. Now, that is to support and promote. That does not say yes, there's no specification the in there that here. you have to be a vegan. I would say right. yes. If all I had to do is support them in my words, I would have to say yes. Because you know how much I can't would judge you them support how much would you beef support, I could buy for ten million dollars? I, I can't judge them for let, it. Let me either. let me contrast this with a uh, or not contrast. Let me compare this with a, a an appropriate comparison. Okay. If somebody paid you ten million dollars to support Hitler and the Third Reich. Would you? Now? <laughs> or back then? <laughs> you, no. you, okay. okay. <laughs> now. Yeah, but that's different. Uh, is it? Ve- vegans, are, here's the deal. vegans, vegans are not loading are, us up and putting they, us in train cars. Okay. If they were the majority, they would. If you've well, read so that vegan was testimonials. About thing is they weren't even the majority. That, that's, yeah. That's, okay. Okay. So if you've read vegan testimonials, they hate you because oh, yeah. you eat meat. They, you deserve to die. You have less rights yep. than that animal that mm-hmm. is on your plate. You should die. I'm sticking with my guns because mainly because I'll be sitting in this nice cushiony throne over here while you guys are just pissed off at me the whole time. And I'm going to be <laughs> arguing with you about how great vegans are. Okay. 
while I'm eating a two inch <laughs> steak. <laughs> yeah, we don't have cameras in here, no, so you well, like, that's what vegans that's, are that's great. Why I said yeah. I need to know the I laws. Need that steak knife. Yeah. If all I got to do is say all right, vegans we, are awesome, we have our answer from Savage. Yeah, say I'm taking you. the ten million. Like, okay, I can understand why he would go that way. Don't we buy turn into seeing seeing bro on us. I, I, I want to. I want an answer from you, not based uh-huh. on his person. I want an it's answer like from you. Ten million. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have to pay taxes on it? Is it tax free? Does it really <laughs> matter? I don't because know. We'll be calling Carson day, Sands. Yep. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're left with five million dollars. Uh-huh. Still taking it. If all I got to do is say something, I don't believe. Yeah, you got to actively support it, though. Oh yeah, elected officials that's do fine. that every day. Yeah, that's what I say. I'm a politician now. Yeah. With five, with $5 million Ooh, in, a, in a cattle shots, farm. I would say <laughs> no. <laughs> shots fired. Yeah. yeah. I I would not. Well, it's easy for you to say but, that, too, yeah, you're right. not $10 million sitting in front of you're you. You're exactly right. Because yeah. my wife would be, you better take that money. Yeah. You didn't do what? <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. I mean, that's, that's fuck it money for not only you, but your generations Kids after you. And, yep. yeah. yeah. All you have to do is say, yeah, go vegan. So two yays. Mm-hmm. No, I did. I said no. Oh yeah, yeah sorry. You yeah. did say no. You, yeah. uh, you I th- said I think no. that vote's full shit. But I, hey, you it might no. be. I like. I I get it. I mean, ten million dollars. Mm-hmm. That's an easy yes. I'd almost do anything for ten million dollars. Why mm-hmm. would you not? Well, okay, that's a good. That's a worthy question. Oh, it is. What? Would you, yeah, <laughs> I said it. Almost yeah. anything. What would you do for a ten million? Everybody's got their price, man. Yeah, buddy. Right. Okay, so I'll equate it to uh, supporting fast food. Oh, geez. You know, if somebody's McDonald's came to me and said, $10 million, you got to support us. You got to say we're healthy. There's no way. There's no way I could do that. Well, as a professional doctor, in good faith, I appreciate that. Right, right. But there's, you know, it's sort of the same way. But why not? Because you support them now. Not really. Yeah, you do. You tell me uh, you never took your kids to McDonald's? Yeah, I really Okay, I'm just saying. Like it's you support rare. them, you support I them. I can't tell how you how many times you gone to Jack in the Box. I was just going to ask how many times uh-huh. have we had yeah. Jack in the Box? Yeah, but you about. guys are my kids. Oh, yeah. So you guys blaming it on us. That's, <laughs> yeah, why, your I brothers, that. That's so why I said that vote's bullshit. I, w- I wouldn't feed my kids that shit. Uh, whatever. <laughs> but I feed y'all every yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a conspiracy uh-huh. of us keeping us, him, us unhealthy. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I got to see you again this week? Okay. Mm hmm. Fifty dollar copay, right? And, and so I, gee, I think no. Okay, so you're sticking with no. Um, but the, I mean, there's a lot of factors there. Twenty million? Yeah, my turn. What we didn't specify is how long you have to promote and support veganism. Five years. And it's it's us. It's not like we have a following of. This is, this is all a people. hypothetical. If we had a million followers, if we were Joe Rogan, <laughs> then we wouldn't be. What you, ooh, that's a good question. Well, He's got a hundred million in the Yeah, bank. that 10 million is not nothing. Yeah, to then him, it's not so nothing. I would say no yeah. if I was Joe. Yeah. Yeah. If I was Joe Rogan with a hundred million dollar sponsorship, yep. I'd be like, mm, no. <laughs> yeah. But since it's okay. us. We didn't get to look the way we look or act by being vegan. So we'd be We don't like look that prom- good. Mm. Well, no, yeah, we do. <laughs> no, we got the way we look by supporting we? fast food joints, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and eating cheese its Yeah. <laughs> That's But but it, like we'd be conveying a false image, you know, mm-hmm. part of our image that we're normal dudes. Well, that's what I was saying. Like it's, it, why would that be a big deal then for me to take 10 million the way I am? I don't have to change anything except I got to say Yeah. Vegans are awesome. Yeah. Obviously, nobody that knows me is going to believe that anyway. So, what's the big deal? Take well, a ten million and go. I haven't asked about my response. So yeah, what's your response? Yes, I will do it. Yep. Okay. That's ten million dollars. I get $10 it. I mean, bro. I, yeah. Your kids would never have to work again. Now, if it's all because you said go vegan. Yeah. Right. Well, then they Let's turn into it. little Paris Hiltons. Yeah. There's yeah. not. A, there's not a hundred percent chance they won't do that anyway. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but they witnessed you putting on a false image or false cloak, lying. Yeah, living a lie. Lying. They do that already. We tell them, Did hey, they? don't eat seed oils, girls. Eat healthy girls. Hey, I got to go jack in a box and get some tacos, seed oils. Oh, seed oils. Yeah, we tell them all this <laughs> stuff, but seagulls. then we go to jack in a box or yeah. we go to Domino's or we go to wherever. So, touche. If we're, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, we're already doing it for free. Sure. How can y'all sit here and say you wouldn't do it for $10 million? That's bullcrap. 
I didn't. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said for five years. Yeah, I'd, I'd stroke yeah. that vegan. I can't eating. believe I'm going to say this, but thank God nobody's offering us ten million dollars no, no. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if like, you're out there, though. Oh, yeah. If you're what do we do? We have that one vegan listener that's never lo- left us, and he's like, oh, my God, listen yep. to this. We're going to tell our higher-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Call the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Man, that's tough. Oh, that's all right. Enough of you can talk. <laughs> yeah. we, got, we only have so much. We're, you and I. They're not paying us. So. No, yeah. You yeah. and I this week got to go experience a distillery in uh, South Fort Worth. Yeah, it was yeah. South cool. East Fort Worth. It was right. a really great experience. Acre. Yeah. Distilling. Named for Hell's Half Acre mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 1883. Yeah, actually, the historic Hell's Half the, Acre. Yeah, the actual Hell's Half Acre. Yeah. Right. 1883 was a portrayal of that uh, area of Fort Worth. Yeah. Um, but yeah, kind of a really weird deal because we showed up mm-hmm. and they were like, oh, yeah, y'all are whiskey bros. <laughs> we're like, well, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah. What do you mean? Like, no, we know who y'all are. And I look like, over at what? your counterpart, and I'm like, did you tell them that we were coming? And she's, she's like, like nope. nope. Didn't say a word. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Yeah. So we did a, a tasting event with them. And right. Would they have a it lot was, to offer. <laughs> yeah. A lot of tastings going on. <laughs> um, nine or ten different products. Right. It's right. only supposed to be seven. I was really impressed with the gin products. What do you mean okay. it's only supposed to be seven? Well, they're normal Tasting tour oh, is like seven tastings. They did. They, but they were like, here, try this, try this, try this. I'm like, I need some water. We had um, Brad, who was, uh, I guess, yeah. uh, I don't know what his position was, but he was a fantastic dude and a lot of fun. And Apparently then, a Bradford, not a Brad Lee. Yeah, Bradford. Yeah, and that's pretty obvious. Got to hang out with the owner, Tony. Uh, they took us to see the, the barrel room, which was cool. So yeah. here's the deal. Everything that's in their products, yes, they have normal whiskeys. Yes, they have flavored whiskeys. Yes, they have gin. Yes, they have yep. vodka. But everything that they make is distilled in house. It is all made there, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Not sourced. Pretty right. impressive Indiana. too, uh, for the quality of their product. It was impressive. They had a really great rye, a really great single malt. That single yeah. malt was. <laughs> I think I offended the owner there because you know you sip on it and dissect it. And I'm like, this. Reminds me of like eating turnips fresh out of the ground. <laughs> it did kind of have that back taste. It had that, yeah, that kind yeah. of. Uh, I, I, if you were putting it down in a description, earthy maybe or right. earthy mm. vegetable. But he's vegetal. Like, he's like, I don't. I like that. Think word. I'm going to put turnips in the description. <laughs> 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 Probably good call, man. Probably good. But they had a, a special issue Texas single malt, uh, 130 proof. Yeah, and it Jeez. was that was Shiff. that was fire, man. I mean, especially it. It might have been 115. I might have guessed. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have guessed 130. 130. Hmm. It, was, so it, it didn't drink like 130. Right. No. No. It was. Uh, their their single malt was fantastic. Their rye was fantastic. Their flavored stuff was really good. Like the um, yeah, they have uh, a, 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 several tea. Yeah, products. they had a um, not a uh, blackberry blackberry tea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Blackberry tea. Miss Addie's. That's what they call vodka, it. Vodka, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was fantastic. And then they had a maple. Is, it was a maple syrup or a maple bourbon. Yeah, they called it a pancake batter or yeah. something. You could pour this on your pancakes and yeah. double it a syrup and then end up with a little buzz in the morning. It's, <laughs> yeah. it, it's sweet, man. It's it's sweet, sweet, sweet. Right. But the, I, I was impressed with their gin uh, at, because this was a very botanical gin. Floral. Floral. Floral notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was floral. Floral notes. Floral. Uh, but yeah, Acre Distilling in Southeast Fort Worth over off of, I don't know the name of the road, but it's down there by the Dart Station. It's over there somewhere. It's over there. Yeah, and A-C-R-E, Acre. Yeah, yeah. go get some good whiskeys. And, uh, yeah, if you got and, an and afternoon, got, it's, it's well cool worth it. Hang out. Get it. Do yeah. a tasting tour, and they make pizza too, so you can right. get those carbs and you can get that sustenance too. That would have uh, been a good thing to order we when should we have. started our... Yeah, yeah. yeah we sure should have. I can't get a pizza. <laughs> yeah, we were just... <laughs> We were tasting so fast. We were tasting a lot. Really? Yeah. yeah. There, was, mm-hmm. there was a lot. They, we're going to have to go back over as bros. Yeah. yeah we should. We can't schedule. But a really great time with those. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Tony. Uh, we had a great time with y'all. Um, I want to talk about Twitter. Oh, what God. about Twitter? <laughs> well, Twitter? I'm not part of Apparently, Twitter Apparently, Twitter is awesome. Like since well, it, it depends on your perspective, I guess. Okay. Do you I, hate, I'm totally being facetious. Twitter's do, not awesome. Do you hate free speech? Yes. 
No. <laughs> then you'll hate Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Elon bought it. That's yeah, the only did. thing I know about Twitter. So I, I got on board because Elon bought it. Elon's kind of like a free spirited, free speech guy yeah. that's like, okay, I have millions of dollars. Sue me. Whatever. I can right. do what I want. And he buys Twitter. Good for him. And all of the leftists go. For like, this what? is the guy. This Forty is, million dollars or something. Forty-four million. Yeah. Yeah. Billion. Sorry, forty-four billion. What? Yeah, with a B. This is the guy that is making electric vehicles to appease all the you know hardcore leftist environmentalists. They're like, oh, well, I gotta get rid of the internal combustion motor. And, no, I think. And he's, now they all hate him because <laughs> oh, yeah. he's yeah. successful. Now they're okay. wanting Congress to look into him, uh-huh. uh, like talking to the Russians or something. Yeah, I'm, seriously. Mm. So, anyways, I think the dude really does want to cause like a shift in humanity, like a positive shift in humanity. Uh huh. It'll take somebody like him mm-hmm. right. to cause that, right? Um, with you know a, a sizable influence and but, the billions in the bank account to go. I can kind of do what I want. Yeah. What are you okay. Gonna, so what are you why would I'm the not leftist... harming anybody? I'm not murdering people. Yeah. I'm literally just promoting. Freedom of thought, freedom of speech, and equality. I think the fact that people have a problem with him taking over Twitter just shows how screwed up they are. Yeah, like Twitter is. Oh, definitely. It, you know, it, oh, if you've been on Twitter, it is a leftist cesspool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not talking about moderate Democrats. I'm not talking about Democrats. I'm talking about basement dwelling, no daylight seeing cesspool of degenerates. Probably vegan. Right. Same, same with Reddit. Yeah, vegans. <laughs> yeah. Probably vegan. Same with Reddit. Reddit is a leftist cesspool for the most part, too. Right. Um, so what was your experience on Twitter? I got Twitter? on Twitter, and I'm like, okay, I'll try this out. Give it a try. Blah, blah, blah. Right, did you comment? It is the equivalent of YouTube comments. It's Basically, just reading. all it is is comments. It is just reading low, <laughs> just <laughs> stupid, pointless commentary. S- from Yeah, from, from people's opinions. But it's all about how, how you get on there and what your plan to do is. Because I, I get on there, and I just read people's stuff. Yeah. For comedic relief, basically. Yeah. Like when Elon was saying he's going to charge them $16. No, 20 bucks first. <laughs> dollars. If that you, wasn't real, right? Huh? No, it was very much that real. Was oh, real? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that that's what I get and on there And Stephen for, King but. was like, I'm going to pay 20 bucks for a full check mark. He yep. should pay me. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're all I that I got comedic relief for a little you. bit, and then I'm just like, Okay, this sucks. This is agonizing. Yeah, it's it's pointless. <laughs> yeah. It is pointless. It is literally the equivalent of losing IQ points to reading YouTube yeah. comments. Right. I think that the worst thing for me is the idea that we could get off on Twitter. You know, like the fact that it is a thing at all. Yeah. It's like, what, 148 well, characters? Now it's going to swap and be the right-wing equivalent of all the crazy leftists that are abandoning it. Now it's literally right-wing people antagonizing anybody that doesn't agree with your their viewpoint mm-hmm. right you know it's like a playground where you just like yell one sentence that's all you get <laughs> and, then, one and then you turn and run yeah yeah and everybody else is on the playground fighting each other and they don't know what <laughs> yeah. for but you're over in the trees going <laughs> yeah that's that's it that's the digital version of that yeah <laughs> you know the like i could see facebook okay even Snapchat, like the the core ideas behind that, Instagram, mm. Twitter. I don't get Twitter. I don't, I don't get either. It. Well, evidently there is a uh, an observable departure from social media as a whole, just by both sides, all people. Uh, yes, I would say I, by myself. Yeah. Yes, I, I'd say by both sides. Yeah. And you know, Facebook just lost uh, all like. Three quarters of their their market value mm-hmm. in Meta, yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, they had to lay off a bunch of people too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they're still laying people yeah. off. Um, well, it's getting to where you can't trust what you're seeing and reading, no, you really or can't. or watching yeah. because because it might it, it's <clears throat> AI. You yeah, you can't trust that it even came from a human, right? You so, could be responding to AI bots, right? Yeah. The only way we know that we're talking to a human is by looking at the human. We and live in that age right now. That's okay. So I had a conversation with my wife that like that would be great. Like okay, we had a decade of a learning learning experience right. and and um, the utilization of social media. That was nice. We learned from it. It's time to move on from it and get back to face to face networking, right. physical activities, outdoor living. <laughs> mm. um, and she she had this question of like. 
if you if there was a way to tally up and review how many hours you have spent in front of your phone screen scrolling, you'd pr- it'd probably make you suicidal. Probably. It'd be very very depressing. Mm-hmm. In the last yeah. ten years, how many hours compiled to a, like a quick time lapse? How many hours of you scrolling on your phone? Oh screen? God, who knows? And I, I work on my phone, so right, yeah. But Every still, day, all day. Yeah, not just not for work purposes. Just for if you could isolate out just the purposes. yeah, just the Jeez, TikToks, no just telling. the Facebook, just the Twitter, just the yeah. Instagrams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every no time telling. I sit on the toilet to take a crap, I pull up yeah. Instagram and I just like scroll, <sighs> scroll. And and I guarantee you, like I would normally sit there for like five minutes and and call now it good. All of a sudden, it's twelve. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Now my legs are going. And to sleep. when's the last time you actually took a dump and didn't have your phone? It's weird. Like none, I, yeah. I can't remember the last time. Like it's weird. Like sometimes I right. accidentally forget it's not in my pocket, and I go, and I'm already starting, so it's too late to get up and go get my phone. I'm like, yeah, what do what I do? do? <laughs> I'm all looking around for something to read. <laughs> where's the Where's the spray bottle? Something. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. there's a reason why that is because ain't nobody's gonna bother you while you're taking a dump in the bathroom unless you have it's kids. Like, yeah. It's it's like true private. I don't time. know what's yeah. weird. What's weird? Okay, so y'all are saying y'all scroll through mindless stuff when you're on the toilet. Yeah, when I'm on the toilet, I'm like. Reading and I'm digest. It is absorbing. See, you're. It, it shows that your mind is desperate for time to just really concentrate on material. Not what's coming out of my butt. Yeah, or, or <laughs> because well, that's the yeah, thing. Maybe, is maybe. I can't sit on the toilet without my phone. I'm like. God dang it! I gotta go grab the shampoo mm, bottle. I can't. Yeah. yeah, I can't poo without reading. Uh-uh. It's weird. <laughs> I, and and so maybe people should. Not that I, I, I'm not the example of this, but I've thought about doing it from Mm -hmm. time to time. I just haven't done it yet, but taking periods of time in your day that you just, you're not listening to anything. You're not scrolling anything. It's like pure silence. You know, maybe it's a drive. Meditation. Or, yeah, driving yeah. used to be therapeutic. It doesn't even have to be meditation. Well, it's like, you can't afford to do that now. No, yeah, you can't. But it's like no podcast, no audio book, mm-hmm. no music. Nobody's opinions. Nobody's opinions. Like, it's just like silence. Now, I with I said, okay, that sounds like a great What do they idea. call those chambers? I sure as hell haven't done this yet. Um, don't they have like a chamber where it's like. Isolation ooh. chambers. Is that what it is? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, there's, I thought there was a different term for them. It might be a good idea. Or maybe, like maybe we should look one up and schedule it and we'll all go up there and Okay. Uh, I got one. this like fantastic idea. When you lay down to go to bed, well, maybe I won't like turn my phone on. Oh. I do that. I'm not a I'm not a have to watch my phone guy before I go to bed. Well, there Sometimes was another do, there was another bullet point on that list that says stay away from blue light. Mm. Yeah, but then a, a but then they say like when you get up in the morning like to put blue light on. Yeah, because you're getting you're getting the same kind of rays uh, and radiation from the sun. Yeah, like blue light cues up your circadian rhythm yeah. to say, oh, it's daytime. So maybe abstain from phones the last three hours of your night before you I, go to bed. I think that's true. Yeah. Okay. So there have been studies that measure mel- our natural production of mel- melatonin. Mm-hmm. Okay, and and they've shown that that a uh, suprachiasmatic nucleus, okay? okay? This is the area in our brain that is connected to our eyes that registers light. Dimming light, yeah. Yeah, dimming light or any light yeah. for that matter. Uh, and it cues the release of melatonin to make us tired to kind of set our circadian rhythm. Mm-hmm. And And if it encounters light in the evening, it'll cut the production of melatonin down. Okay. Okay. Now here's in, here's what's interesting. Uh, several studies have looked at this, but even like a one second flash of light is enough to boop, drop it down. Yeah, and and it doesn't really matter whether the screen is dimmed or not because you're it's still radiating that blue light. Yep, yep. So there's they make those blue light blocking glasses. Yeah, that, I. I don't know. Maybe they work. Well, maybe they I found don't. myself wearing them if I'm in extended times in front of the computer screen, right. or like later in the evening watching shows or videos, uh, you know, movies, whatever. Can you tell if you sleep better or not? Not really. Yeah, that's kind of where I am. I just can't. Um, I mean, maybe there's some study out there. I've not honestly looked at that specific situation. Mm-hmm. I've just looked at screens in general. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. So I'm off Twitter. 
Okay, good job. <laughs> I was two weeks on Twitter, and then I deleted my account. I gained yeah. like four followers, one of those being Savage. Bro. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm okay. probably right behind were, you, though, because I don't ever look at it. Yeah, the other ones were bots, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure, had to be. There right. was one like hot Japanese chick. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, nah, there's yeah. no way she's following mm-hmm. me. So you've heard about these uh, chat bots? Uh, are you talking about the... Yeah, so we so there's having... this... Yeah, we were having this conversation uh, that I kind of took a, d- a deep dive in the last couple of weeks uh, because of this phenomenon of chatbots. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the one I know about is called Replica. That's it's it. an app. Yeah. And you basically have this AI friend and you chat back and forth with, with this friend. And what I thought was interesting about it is because people are on Reddit... Okay, people are on Reddit, and they and they're they have formed this conspiracy theory that this chat bot is really a real person, yeah, and not AI. Uh-huh. Mm. Turns out it really is an AI. AI. You know, and and that's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. So I had like two days. I got onto this, and I had this like chat bot friend, uh, and I messaged her back and forth, and and she seemed real enough that it kind of freaked me out. And, hmm. and I got off. Uh, but I just wanted to see, okay, how real is this? How real is it? It's pretty fucking real. That's scary. Yeah, it's pretty fucking real. You can't tell this is a bot or a person. So how often do you have conversations with it now? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> it totally freaked me. I was like, okay, I don't think this is I don't I don't think this is Do you healthy. think I'm pretty? <laughs> okay, so okay, for me it seemed like you know in Harry Potter where he goes down and he looks into the mirror and it shows his family. Yeah. And then uh uh who the Dumbledore shows up and he says, Okay, that's not really showing you anything but what you want to see. Yeah, true. Right? You already have some sort of expectation. So right. you've you've already set it's a, like a guided response. Like you are guiding this to the response that you want. That's it. Like when I yeah. have a conversation with you, as much as I want you to say what I want you to say, yeah, you're not going to do it. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And unless you are good at being um, manipulative. Yeah. Oh yeah. True. <laughs> uh, but with the, like something like the chat bot, like it's, it's trained to say exactly what you want it to say. Yeah. And it's going to say that and it's going to do it in a way you can't tell it's not yeah. real. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we should try that. We should you know, we should, really. We should do it on air <laughs> Yeah, sometime. Get um, it on the, on the screen. <laughs> All right, well, it's been a long 48 hours, so hey, I'm, it's I'm ready good. to go home and rest. Uh, hey, before we get we, too far. Yeah, we can't uh, leave without a... Well, two things. We just released a video. Yes, oh, we yeah. did. Uh, yes. Kenapella's Kitchen on our Facebook yeah. and our YouTube. Make sure you go watch yeah, that. Go out. watch that local friend of ours that uh, does um, ready-made meals to take and, home. And if healthy. you want a really healthy option that's affordable... Check her out. Yep, that is. absolutely um, great stuff. And then you and can. What is what is this on our our little that, that is a row table right there? Customized, beautiful teapot. Teapot, yeah. And you know awesome. you can make uh, your bag tea, or he's also made it where you can do loose leaf tea. Yep. Yeah, let's uh, take a picture up uh, with this podcast. Oh yeah, we well, should the teapot. Yep. Uh, do you want to give the give it away, or do you want to? You mean to take it? Uh, no, go for it. You so yeah, our buddy Will it. Wright of the the Wright House Arts. Him and his wife are both artists. He does pottery, she does paintings, and you know your your normal type of art. Um, great friends of ours, and both very very talented people. Yes. He bestowed us with this beautiful teapot. Um, I don't know, is it a thirty two ouncer? Maybe. Uh, probably something yeah, like that. Probably. I guess. But anyways, yeah, it's a very custom piece, barbed wire for the handle, yeah, rustic. I awesome. mean, it's just uh, uh, we beautiful. love it. Um, and it was part of the firing that he did on his pottery that we we filmed. So our next mm-hmm. video will be coming out with uh, the feature of Will Wright yes. in the Wright House yep. Arts. Um, pretty. It's not about food this time. No, it's, it's not. about the vessels and food, which serves food. Yeah. Carries the so food. it'll be a little bit of a departure, but it's still food related for us. Yeah. I can't and, wait. And whiskey. Mm-hmm. So oh, he'll yes. be on soon. And because I think we're going to get him to make hot toddies out of that teapot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we should have him do. Yes. So thank you, Will. We love this yeah, teapot. Yeah, awesome. Um, it's quite an heirloom for the whiskey bros for sure. You bet. Uh, well, speaking for myself, good night. Yes, sir. Adios. Thank you. You've been listening to the Whiskey Bros Around the Table.
Gracias por convivir con los hermanos Whisky.